All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Goading Zoo. I hope you're having a great week. My name is Shane. This is the Java playlist at the Coding Zoo. And in today's lesson, we're going to continue going over the streams API some more. We're going to cover the method find any. So if you're familiar with uh, find first, then you might wonder, well, why have find any? Why not just use find first? That might seem a little confusing if you never use find any. So that's what we're going to cover today. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. Hey, so let's get started. Before we do, I just want to remind you as usual, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click that bell icon. It's right down there somewhere, one of these directions. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell. That'll let you know when our next videos come out. We are continually putting new videos with different languages on the Coding Zoo uh, channel, so definitely check them out. And at the very end, if you like this video, click like. And if you didn't, hey, click this like. We'd like to know one way or another, and feel free to leave comments. Let's go ahead and let's jump in. So on my desktop, I have this class here called find any, right? Now in my class, I have a main method and I went ahead and set up an array list, right? So I'm doing my numbers array as list and I'm passing in these numbers. So I have an integer array list set up, right? Now let's go ahead and, and use a stream and specify some kind of criteria. Now, when you use find any or find first, you, you can't just pass a lambda expression to it. You actually have to use an intermediate method uh, to pass that expression. So, so find any and find first are actually terminating methods and they don't accept lambda expressions. They're basically just used to sort, to sort, to not sort, but to short circuit uh, your search specified in your intermediate method. Uh, and if you're not familiar intermediate or uh, terminating method, no worries, we'll, you'll get it once I uh, finish typing here. Okay, so I better type my numbers. Um, let's do stream and let's do, see if I do find any, it, it won't take in a parameter, so I'm not even gonna do it. Uh, I've gotta provide an intermediate method. Uh, let's do filter. And I tend to like to use uh, this formula for my example. It's pretty simple to understand. I want to take in the number and I want to return. I, I only want numbers that are, uh, say, even. So let's do number. How do I determine that? I'm going to do mod two. If a number divisible by two does not have a remainder, then uh, so the remainder is equal to zero, then that means it's an uh, even number. And that's what I'm looking for. So that's my filter. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put that on the next line, make that look a little bit cleaner. So what next? Now I'm going to provide my find. Now I could use find first. It's going to grab the first even number. So, or find any. Well, if I use find any right now, what's it going to do? Well, it's not guaranteed, but it's going to most likely grab the first one uh, that is even, right? So. Uh, let's let's do it real quick. All right, let's run it. All right, it found eight. So is eight the first one? It's even. It is right. So if eight is the first one, and find any or find first would do the same thing. Let's see. Let's make sure. All right. Blow it up. Sorry, should have blown it up a minute ago. Hope you saw that. There's eight. All right, let's go ahead and go back to uh, find any and run it again, just so you can, just so I can make sure you saw the previous example, blow that up. And there's your optional um, object and it has data inside of it, the data is eight. So both of them are finding the first one. So why do you need to find any when you have a find first? Well, the big reason is uh, parallel processing. You're using multiple threads to process a large list of data to find something specific. And you only want the first one you find. You don't care uh, where it's at in that data, but you just want to grab one. You don't care if it's the, like the first one in the list, but you just want to grab the first one you encounter, right? Because you're using multiple streams, you're searching a list, right? And you want to grab the first one that any of those threads find. 
Well, if you use find first with a parallel stream, right, like that, and you use find first here, it's going to use multiple threads to search, but truth be told, it's going to take longer because the contract says it's only going to return the first one in that list. Now, the first one may be found by the fourth thread, but how does it know it's the first one until it does a bunch of merging, right? So it's going to actually guarantee to find the first one. Uh, and if multiple threads find their first one, they have to wait on the other threads and then kind of merge it together so that the real first one in the whole list uh, will be returned. So imagine you have multiple, imagine this list split into multiple lists. You have multiple threads searching each of those lists. Well, just because number four found his its first one doesn't mean it's the first one in the whole, the original list, right? So you have to wait till all of them are found and then return the first one. I assume that's the way it's working. I assume it is doing multiple threads. I haven't checked that out, but I know the contract basically says it's gonna find the first one in an entire list. And I know it takes longer to do that because of extra operations to do that. So what is find any for? Well, find any is, is, you know, I don't care if it's the first one. I just want to find one that matches this criteria. And I want to find it as soon as possible, especially if my list is huge, right? So if it's one thread processing a huge list, well, it takes a long time. Imagine one person digging a hole, right? It takes a long time. If you get multiple threads, multiple people digging a hole, well, you'll dig the hole faster, right? So um, find any is basically to help performance uh, when it comes to parallel uh, processing of streams. So if I do find any, now there's no guarantee it's going to return eight because I'm using multiple threads. More than likely, it's going to find that one first and return it, but that's just pure chance, right? It could return something else. I haven't ran this yet. I've got parallel stream and I've got find any. Uh, so it's going to grab the first one at any of the streams, uh, rather threads and counters. It's probably going to be eight, but that's just pure luck. Let's run it and see. Yep, so there it is. It it did find, just so happened to find find the eight, right? Um, let's go ahead and try that again. I wonder I wonder if I can make it. I don't know of a way to force it to do to uh, find the one we want, but let's see. How about how about we do I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's try this. I'm going to make the list a little bit longer. I'm going to duplicate some of the data, actually. And this will be pure luck if it works. Pure luck. So I'm going to put a two there. All right. I'm just trying to give it more data, so... Uh, maybe that one of the threads has a better chance of finding uh, the even number before the first thread does. See if we can get it to not give us the first one. Probably not enough data to emulate this, but let's give it a shot. Run it. Oh, what do we got there? So look at there. Okay, great. That worked out perfect. Purity luck. I'd probably do it again uh, 20 times and it wouldn't do it. All right, so I ran a parallel stream. I'm saying find any. Um, again, because we're using multiple threads, it doesn't mean the first one. And in this case, we didn't get the first one back. We got 24. So the first even number in this list is 12. Right there, the next number is 24. So that basically means, you know, if I had two, probably two threads running, the second thread found the number first before the first thread, right? The data was probably split in half and search, right? So that's find any. It's a way to find something in a list that meets your criteria, especially if it's a big list and you want to use parallel streams. It's much quicker with parallel streams than find first. That's it. Pretty neat. Uh, I had no idea uh, the difference in the two. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I don't particularly use this one very much, but it is neat to know. And I'm sure in the future, uh, it's definitely something I'll run across having to use. So.
I hope this makes sense. If not, leave me questions below. I will definitely get back to you. I hope all of y'all are enjoying your week. If you, again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe and the, and the bell icon if you want to see more videos and click like if you like this video. If it was helpful, click like or dislike if you didn't like it. Um, right now, it's currently it's currently in the middle of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, pandem pan pandemic, pan pandemic. I can't say that word. That's my uh, country hick education there from Louisiana. Um, so it's it's we're still right in the middle of that. So it's been kind of rough, but hey, my family and I are hanging in. I'm actually uh, taking vacation, uh, but unfortunately, we can't go anywhere. So I thought I'd make some more videos for you. Anyway, I just wanted to say I hope you and your family, if, if you see this video during that time, if it's not over by the time you see this video, rather, I hope you and your families uh, and friends are doing well and staying safe. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and I hope to see you again. Have a great week. Bye.